I'm just going to go ahead and title this segment the Ask Reddit All-Stars. There we I go. think this is going to be a cookie All-Stars. and cream yeah. segment right. weekly, ongoing. All right. All right. The Ask like Reddit it. All-Stars, baby. Okay. I saved a ton of these because I'm telling you, Wayne, oh, there's, some, good. there's some gold in here, dude. And, and like right. I'm saying, with the anonymity of everything, bro, like people will just ask an open <laughs> question. Yeah. And, yo, random people come out of the woodwork and they just start answering shit, like real honest. <laughs> really? <laughs> like okay. they don't care who's reading. Right. Yo, all right, here. Let's, let's get into some of these. You ready? Yeah, let's go. All right. All right, here's one. <laughs> What's the weirdest sex act you've ever done alone? Oh, and this might get juicy. Answered. Now, this has <laughs> this was posted a week ago. It has ten thousand comments. <laughs> oh, what? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> right? You'd think you'd think oh, it'd be. Jeez. Oh, Jesus. Texy TV 666 has responded, ladies and gentlemen. He says, or she, no, it's he. I had heard about cock rings, oh. the rubber ones and the plastic slash metal ones, and heard they make you harder for longer. So decided to try and improvise one day when my mom and sister went out. Oh, shit. I found a metal ring that went on a curtain pole. <laughs> <laughs> and had a little plastic clip, so I removed that and got some cooking oil <laughs> and went into my room, greased up the ring, and slid it over my semi-flaccid penis. This is definitely an adolescent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, motherfucker, you're 12. <laughs> yeah, dude, really? <laughs> I slid it over my semi-flaccid penis and balls. It felt pretty good, so I grabbed a magazine and started to rub one out. He's he's a magazine. magazine. Maybe he's forty. <laughs> Was this a week ago or <laughs> bro? A, a decade ma- ago. Who does this to a magazine, son? Does he own a motherfucking pager too? <laughs> <laughs> Serious man. Oh shit. Anyway, the ring slowly moved further back, restricting blood flow and wedging itself tight against my balls and the base of my dick. This thing was tight, and I suppose it was doing its job until after I came and wanted it to slide off. It wouldn't. (laughs) (laughs) I was there right against... Sorry, it was there. Right against my purple dick and balls oh. for 30 minutes before mom came home. Okay, I don't like where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I couldn't budget. I was in pain, so I had to call her. <laughs> Bro. The look of utter horror, disbelief, and disgust in her eyes will stay with me forever. As it should. Oh, that's what you get. Oh, God. Can you imagine? No. By this time, my dick was the color of. He puts a number here. This might be referring to a shade of. <laughs> By this time, my dick was the color of number 301934, and I was in severe pain. Maybe that's like is the that color. Like a, it's like, like a, the color palette at Home Depot. Yeah, or some, sh- some, some shit they got going on at Lowe's. And- oh, son. <laughs> My mom immediately called my dad. (laughs) He drove from work about 10 minutes. He came upstairs, took one look at me, got some Vaseline from the bathroom, which I wish I had known about earlier. (laughs) (laughs) He put that that part like an asterisk. Yeah, an asterisk. (laughs) Yeah, for sure, bro. Oh, God. Now you tell me. Uh, so he gets the Vaseline, and he got a thin piece of plastic and put Vaseline on it and slid it under the ring and kind of <laughs> levered it out. <laughs> this, yeah, definitely. Okay, dude. Uh, anyway, oh, God, can you imagine? Now, okay, we're fathers. Yeah. Now you got to imagine coming home. Oh. Years from now, your son's a teenager. <laughs> and your wife looks at you and says, listen, um, 
Uh, Little Johnny has his cock and balls stuck in a curtain ring. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Oh, oh Christ! Well, I tell you what, I wouldn't. I wouldn't waste the good Vaseline. Uh, Illidan Fifty responded to this. See, that was like a whole story. It wasn't just like a. No, that's why like, these are great. Yeah, the question was, what's the weirdest sex act? Dude could have been like, I got my dick and balls stuck in a cock ring. He explained. Right, he could have just he, been he like, went, I grabbed a curtain ring, lubed it up. Yep. Yeah. End of yeah. story. End of story. No. But no, he gave Full, us the whole story. Because it's anonymous. Yeah, we right. don't know who this is. No, but his parents know. <clears> his happens. parents know. His dad will never forgive him. Sister. That's right. Who <laughs> <laughs> used all the Vaseline? Oh. Illidan50 responded by saying, <laughs> started fingering my ass in high school. <laughs> <laughs> But that wasn't enough. Oh, geez. Went to Sharpie markers, but not enough. Had the idea to use a banana, but the bottom end had that hard kind of sharp end yeah. on it. Yeah. yeah, no, I feel you. Not meant for bums. So what did I do? Oh, God. I used sandpaper <laughs> to file it down <laughs> to be smooth and an easy glide in. Needless to say... Bananas don't last too long going up the ass. Oh, now who'd have thought? Can I just say, mm. brother? Yeah. Just go buy a dildo. Just yeah, yeah. Honestly, if you're, if you're taking it to that extreme, to where you're getting hardware, <laughs> <laughs> you're going to b- fucking Bunnings or a Home Depot to get sandpaper to follow down <laughs> your banana <laughs> dildo. Just what, go to the sex store, dog. Hey, Sam's, what would you do yesterday? Well, where do I start? You yeah. see, I was uh, sanding down the tip of this banana <laughs> just, to, just to get it right. Just to make it soft enough. Oh, Christ. That, that's effort, though. That's like cognitive effort that you have to put into that. Oh, oh dude. Unbelievable. Let's see here. <laughs> Nick L., has responded. They said, this wasn't me, but a dude that was a few years older than me in high school. This dude, his name was Ted. (laughs) (laughs) He decided it was a good idea to fuck a head and shoulders shampoo bottle while he was in the shower. (laughs) His dick ended up getting stuck in the bottle and he had to go to the ER (laughs) To get it removed. Wow. Afterward, oh God, afterward, he was forever known <laughs> as Ted and Shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I've, oh. I've owned Head and Shoulders. First of all, how'd you get it in? That, oh. that hole is not that big, bro. The Unbelievable. hole is not that big. It must have been like, it, you know, semi. And oh, then. come on, Ted and Shoulders. <laughs> You know what I'm ashamed of? All these stories are from dudes. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> the, all I, these I've been scrolling dudes, trying man. to find a female one. It's it's shit. See? Man shit. Man shit. Men saw this question and they fucking flew yeah. out of the woodwork and they're like, bro, I got a story. I yeah. got I got a lot of stories. Yeah. Let me just pick top five. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine having to go? to high school every day after this oh dude you're known as Ted and shoulders <laughs> how do you even flip that into a positive do you know what I mean I don't know how would you be like no dandruff on my balls like, oh dude, Christ you know you, that, right how do you flip it you can't this kid probably came into school every day and like the football team lined up just to fuck with him probably hey Teddy boy heard you're taking herbal lessons to the prom <laughs> Hey, what's up, Ted? You fuck any bottles lately? <laughs> this po- Ted, if somehow, some way, by some sheer dumb luck in the universe, you're listening to this, I just want to say, you poor bastard, and we yeah. feel for you. I want to ask, how do you get it in? That's a tiny hole, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> it must have been like kind of flaccid, and he sort of just inched it in with his pinky. Oh, and then you know it inflated, and then boom, that's it. It's it, it works just like uh, the kid who used the curtain the ring curtain on his ring. cock. You see, it all inflates, and it's then all bang, it's stuck. Someone gets their dick stuck. That's right, man. 
<laughs> Sparky Candy 10121 said If this is a dude, I will be so ashamed of our race. Of our of <laughs> not our race, but of our fucking male female. This could this is neutral. This could be both. Okay. I tried to use hand sanitizer as lube once. Don't try that. That's it. <laughs> That could be anybody. <laughs> that could be anybody. Hand sanitizer. That's lube. Uh, it starts off nice and liquidy, but quickly evaporates and burns. <laughs> <laughs> but sanitizes. OCD grammar Nazi responded. Mm. He said... And I know this is a I know this is a guy because the uh, the first four words are made a fake vagina. <laughs> <laughs> Again, cognitive effort uh, put into this man. You see, just like you and your table, this man has built something. Yeah, see, good for you. There you go. Made a fake vagina with a rubber glove, empty pasta sauce jar, a bath sponge. <laughs> And a rubber band. Then then I fucked it for weeks as a lonely teenager. My lord. Wayne. See, ladies, that's what it boils down to. You can be replaced with a pasta jar, a sponge, a rubber glove, and a rubber band. So next time you're feeling all high and mighty. <laughs> oh, my Christ. That's quite possibly for the weeks. most like Italian thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Oh. I, My man. uncle is so Italian. How <laughs> Italian is he? He fucked a pasta job. Bada bing. Hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how you doing? Vinny Gambolino here. Hey, let me ask you a question. Are you sick and tired of masturbating the old-fashioned way? <laughs> Well, boy, do I got news for you. <sighs> Introducing the brand new masturbatory method, <laughs> empty ragu jar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. This That's poor cool, kid. I never, I never would have thought to use Who? a pasta jar. What the fuck are these people no, doing? I don't, I don't know. Like, I mean, look. They're innovative. They're using that's very creative. ingenuity. They're, that's very creative, man. I bet that dude probably paints really well. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Probably. He probably and they're all like some, really some pathetic very, self-portraits yeah, of himself. Some, some very interpretive shit. Yep. Fucking a ragu jar. I wonder if he like got all the materials at once or if he got the pasta jar and he's like, tomorrow I'm going to acquire the sponge. <laughs> <laughs> like you know, maybe uh, he went to different stores. It's like in Breaking yeah. Bad when they have to go buy all oh, the materials yeah, to all make it, meth. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, someone's gonna know I'm gonna He's make like, a fucking ragu <laughs> vagina if I buy it all in one place. <laughs> you can't buy the ragu and the sponges yeah, here, Johnny. Spon this is your first trip. Haven't I taught you? <laughs> Seriously, I could just think of like having like the having like the checklist. Like uh, like uh, in one of my favorite movies, um, uh, shit, like it's one of my favorite movies. I fucking forgot the name. Um, but anyway, he'd have like a checklist. I, I got the jar tomorrow. Rubber glove, and then and then I could just like it could be like a series. Like and then he goes to get the rubber band. He goes to acquire the rubber band, and then it breaks. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> All that preparation down the toilet. Oh, Christ. And he has to acquire another one. Hey, uh, Vinny Gambolino here again. Hey, <laughs> let me ask you a question. Hey, you know, maybe you're getting sick and tired of having to sneak the hoods in through the back door of your grandmother's house for all these years. <laughs> well, boy, do I have more good news for you. You see, this is going to be my new segment. News for you with <laughs> Vinny Gambolino. T today's topic on news for yous jaw fucking <laughs> can you do it have you done it would you like to do it <laughs> oh god let's do a couple more here oh bro <sighs> sight lab responded and they said 
spent a whole day during school break, lazy, in bed, seeing how many times I could ejaculate. The answer for 17-year-old me was 12 times. 44-year-old me has not yet repeated the experiment, but my guess is once. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Mm. He's getting honest about his age. He's getting up there. and He is. Look, this man doesn't have time for 17 ejaculations. No. He's got shit to do. He's got shit to do. That's right. Ugh. Do it for the FAP 91, <laughs> says. Okay. Once when I was a young teen, I wanted to know what my cum tasted like. But licking it off my hand seemed gross. Yeah, I'd say I'd agree with that. Um, just the whole concept. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it already started, yeah. you know, pretty pretty rocky. Yeah. But. Well, that seemed gross, so I jerked off into a Tostitos scoop. <laughs> And then ate it. Oh, Christ almighty. What? Oh. This sounds like uh, Limp Biscuit. When, you know, when we were growing up, that game Limp Biscuit, how the band got their name. Oh, uh, yeah. That's a good point. I, want, he, I wonder if this is Fred Durst he hiding it. behind a screen name. Could be. <laughs> I'm a slash your ass he with came, a chainsaw. He came in first and last. That's on, right. In that game. I wonder if Fred Durst, even as was like a kid, he always wanted to do what he became, like to be this sort of white boy rapper front man of a band, yeah. right? And he always like talked to it about his about that like with his mom. <laughs> you know, and she was always just like, Listen, Fred, look, you're you're not that you, bright. Yeah. We really need you to, to just stick to the family business and yeah. now fuck that mom <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start a band. <laughs> Hey, let me let me throw some lyrics at you, Mom. I'm gonna slash your ass with a chainsaw. <laughs> Fred, seriously, stick with the family business. You're 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 really, you're. I, I can't I can't watch you do this to yourself. No. <laughs> can't lose another one. No, my friend Wes down the street plays guitar. <laughs> Paints his face all fucked up, Mom. <laughs> We're starting a band. Anyway, ah, uh, Fred, I love you. I really do. That was my. He was my. That was part of my childhood. Yours too. For sure.